All right, everyone. So basically, Caleb Williams went out to eat. It was a dinner thing. And there was other prospects that are also doing this. But he went to dinner with the top brass of the Bears. And one thing we didn't realize was that that included some players. So this is from a Yahoo Sports article. ESPN 1000 was the first to report Williams was in town last night. Sources confirmed to M- NBC Sports Chicago that Williams dined with members of the organization and some veteran Bears players, including wide receiver DJ Moore. Okay. So why, you know, that's not anything new. We, were, we talked about that in our last Caleb Williams video. Nothing shocking there. But what is new is a report from ML Football, which came out on April 5th. We didn't see this, and that's why we're doing this a little late. But it tells us how the dinner went, according to sources. So ML Football had this to say, news. Caleb Williams' dinner with Bears players in Chicago went extremely well, and players really liked Caleb. Multiple players said he was a cool and humble guy, sources say. Chicago has their quarterback on and off the field. This is from ML Football. Now, you could say, well, I don't know if I trust ML Football or whatever. You know, this is anytime a report comes out, everybody says, I don't trust that reporter, I don't trust this reporter, whatever. In this case, I think this is great news for Bears fans because regardless of if the report is necessarily true or not true, meaning like if Caleb Williams is cool and humble, right? If that's the truth of the matter, somebody leaked this story. And my guess is it, the report wouldn't have come from somebody and, you know, wouldn't be Caleb Williams talking on the phone saying, yeah, everybody thinks I'm cool and humble. This either came from the Bears organization or it came from you know, the camp of a player that was there, or maybe it's literally just someone that was at this dinner that said this. And this is what we've talked about with Caleb Williams, because there's so much, this is one of the worst parts is you have all these guys who are stepping into, you know, uh, the biggest moment of their lives, which is going pro, they're going to get drafted, they're going to new teams. And there's honestly, at this point, there's so much controversy over things that really just don't matter. Um, You know, you see this every year, like CJ Stroud with the I forgot what test it's called, but that test that he didn't do well on, that became a big storyline. And it's like, no, it's it's always throughout the entire season of college, everybody's all pro these guys. You know, everyone's like, yep, these guys are going to be great. Nothing to see here. No problem. Look at this talent. And then as it gets closer to draft day, reports are coming out. There's, oh, this guy has this problem. This guy has that problem. And the thing is, at least from our standpoint, is You know, we'll report on these stories because they're out there and we want to try to give a nuanced view because if you just ignore them, well, people will still believe them. So we want to just kind of give a nuanced view on them. But one thing is, is that, you know, there's been guys who have come into this league with this rap sheet of, uh, hey, you know, they're not going to, they're a problem in the locker room. They're an issue player. You know, people aren't going to like them and they end up being fine and they end up being some of the best players ever. There's been players that came in with a clean, you know, everyone says, oh, this guy's going to be great, great locker room guy great leader, and they turn out to be terrible. So it's not that these stories necessarily are meaningless, but really it matters the spot you go. And this is why this report is so important, I think, for Bears fans and for Caleb Williams. If this is true, if Caleb Williams is a, is he, if he comes in and he's humble and he's willing to be like, you know what, I have a ton of talent, but this is, I'm a rookie and I'm going to play my best, but I'm going to learn. I'm going to take as much information as from the veterans, I'm going to take as much coaching as I can get, he's going to be a success. There's almost no question in my mind that he will end up being a success if that's the path he takes, because we see the talent, right? You could watch the games, and we've brought up some of the games where there were struggles, but at the same time, the talent has been seen. So you know, you give the guy a good defense, you give the guy blocking, you put some good receivers around him, he's going to be at least an above average quarterback, right? I, I think that's pretty clear. And so this, all the news we've heard about Caleb Williams since the season has ended, everything we've liked, we've loved it all, right? Initially, there was this, when we've talked about this in previous videos, there was this barrage of kind of negative, like different things, like he wants ownership in a team, or he doesn't want to go to the Bears, or he might not go to the Bears, or he shouldn't go to the Bears. And ever since those reports, which none of them came from his side, ever since those reports came out, everything the guy has done has been pretty good. Has shown us that, you know, this is, you know, he could have said, well, we'll see where I go. I'm going to, you know, see my options. He could have tried to play, you know, like I'm bigger than whatever team I get drafted to. I'm the big name in this draft. He could have played it that way. And instead, he's played it as he should, which is, you know what? I'm a very talented quarterback who is going into the NFL and I'm going to be a part of this team. And I can take the team to the next level. 
but it's not all about me. And I think that that has been just a fantastic way to handle it. And like I said, you know, we're really rooting for him. So thank you all for watching and we will see you next time.